Hello, I'm Ron Berry. Thank you for taking a few minutes to allow me to introduce myself and to share my vision for ULM with you. Many of you know me, and some of you may have had the opportunity to review my application material. So instead of focusing on my career accomplishments, I want to share with you who I am as an individual and as a leader. My wife, Christine, and I met on the ULM campus as colleagues. She is a professor and coordinator of our nationally ranked risk management insurance program. Together, we have two kids, Michael, who is a senior at ULM and plans to graduate with two degrees in this spring, one in math and one in finance. And our daughter, Aaliyah, is a sophomore in a local high school. Rounding out our exciting family is our four furry friends, our rescue puppies, Charlotte, Sadie, Hermes, and Jax. Like most, my beliefs and value systems were forged early in life. Two specific situations had a profound impact on who I am. Growing up in Northeast Louisiana, as a son of a single mom who often worked two jobs to provide for our family, I fully understand the challenges and obstacles of breaking the chains of poverty. As Dr. Kim Hunter Reed, Louisiana Commissioner of Higher Education pointed out during last year's ULS For Our Future Conference, a very small percentage of kids growing up in single parent homes in poverty are able to make it out of that situation. I consider myself very fortunate to be part of that small group who exited that situation. And because of that, I feel a strong obligation to do what I can do to help others move out of that situation. As a high school student growing up in this small rural town, I wasn't able to sit next to my friends at lunch I wasn't able to go to the movies with them on the weekends. I wasn't able to play baseball with them in the summer. And I wasn't even able to have a shared prom with them our senior year in high school, all because of the differences of the color of our skins. I totally understand the need and necessity to continue working towards diversity, equity, and inclusion for all. These early life experiences created in me a desire to do more, to be more, to help more, and eventually to become the servant leader that I am today. During my 20 years of academic administrative experience as a department head and dean, I have been a student of leadership, aspiring to learn as much as I can about myself to become the best leader that I possibly can be. I was introduced to two of my favorite books by the authors Bowman and Deal at a Harvard Institute for Leadership that has helped shape my leadership philosophy and beliefs. Reframing Organizations was one of those books and it calls for us to look at opportunities and challenges from different frames or perspectives. And the second, was Wizards and Warriors that details two distinct leadership styles and when each may be appropriate. These books, along with Jim Collins' Good to Great and his levels of leadership, strongly indicate to me that leadership is situational. Through our leadership journeys, we will need to play different roles. Sometimes we will need to be that autocrat who makes the difficult decisions, while other times we will need to follow a true participative leadership philosophy. The trick is knowing when each approach is necessary. But at each of our cores, based on our experiences, our personality, our education, and yes, even our heart and soul, each of us tends to favor one style of leadership. I am inspired and continue to be aspired to be a wizard in what Collins referred to as a level five leader. It's not about leadership. It's not about fellowship. It's not about management. It's not about telling people what to do. It's about building relationships 
and supporting people, finding the right positions for people, supporting them, encouraging them, providing inspiration and motivation. As humans, it's natural for all of us to want to be part of something that's bigger than ourselves. A leader needs to create a strong desire, even a calling for people and organizations toward, to work towards a common cause, to help make a difference, to lift others up, and to support and defend the hopes, the dreams, and aspirations of others. I've been asked a lot recently why I want to be president of ULM, especially at this time. One of my colleagues shared with me recently that the thing he liked most about me would I, that was that I was more interested in doing something as opposed to being something. It is true that I have never aspired to be a department head, a dean, or even a president of a university. I've only looked for opportunities to offer my services where I felt like I could make a difference. ULM, like many institutions in higher education, is delicately balanced on the edge of opportunity, growth, and prosperity. The opportunities with creating new partnerships with campuses across colleges and schools, externally with businesses, nonprofits, other, other, institutional, institute, other educational institutions, such as VCOM and others, is truly exciting. But we also need to be careful and realize that on the other side of the equation, challenges created by COVID, reduced enrollments, financial challenges, and many other things may lead to missed opportunities and move us toward mediocrity if wrong decisions are made. Again, leadership is situational. It is time for ULM to have a leader who cares deeply about the institution, a leader who knows the traditions and the culture, a leader who has the relationships built on trust and mutual respect, and a leader who has earned the trust and respect of the community, of faculty, of staff, and of students. Faculty, staff, and students deserve no less. ULM deserves no less. And so I humbly offer myself as the leader that ULM needs for this current situation. Leadership is situational and it's time for a leader like me. My vision for ULM is based on a very simple concept. None of us is as smart as all of us. This is especially true at ULM, where we have an unbelievably talented and committed group of faculty and staff across campus. It's time we engage them. A vision from an individual is nothing more than a dictate. However, a shared vision created from a highly committed group of individuals can lead to significant organizational and community transformations built along a shared cause, the opportunities are truly limitless. And to me, given where ULM is located, there is no stronger calling than to help our regional students and our region be successful, to transition people out of poverty, out of poverty into opportunities for success. If we can do this, we will provide a talented workforce for our region, spur economic development, and provide lifelong career opportunities for the students in our region. The job of a leader is to create a safe, encouraging, inspirational, and rewarding environment that facilitates shared governance, shared responsibilities, and work towards a common in the end, I hope that we have created together a collective vision that focuses on student success, community and business development, and the creation of a workplace and community that is second to none. This vision will be founded on honesty, trust, respect, transparency, 
open communication and recognition. Thank you for listening to me and hearing about my story. And thank you for participating in this very important process for you and I.